Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another Green Inks comparison and this is the Green Inks comparison video number two. So I think let's go and swab up some of these inks. The first ink I have here is Visconti Green and this is one of the old style glass bottles. So I think let's do an ink swatch here. So this is a blue-green ink, and it's actually an underrated ink, I think, from Visconti. It's an ink that I do like quite a lot, but it's not a normal green that I would go with. Like, if I show you the Visconti cap here, that's a very different green. Almost like a jade green, a bluey green, I would say, but... It's still a nice green and it does look quite nice. So, this is Visconti Green. And it's just one of their regular one of the mill inks. The next ink is Mont Blanc Irish Green. And I do love these shoe bottles. Uh, this is made in Austria, this ink. But this is quite a nice bottle of ink. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, this is really more my kind of green ink. I tend not to sort of gravitate as much towards colours that are sort of not the colour that they say they are. So this Visconti green, although it's a really nice green, it's a bluey green, almost like a teal, I just find that to me misrepresents the colour. This is what normally I would call a green. Now I don't know if you all agree with this one or or not but like there are varying shades and hues of every colour but this is the kind of green that I would really more gravitate towards when if I wanted to pick a green ink for a green pen then that's what I would go with. So this is Mont Blanc and it's Irish green and it does actually come out quite dark in the writing samples so not quite as light as it does in the ink swatch but still it is an ink that I like a lot the next ink is Diamine Smoke on the Water and this is a German exclusive ink from Diamine now this is quite a saturated ink, so it is a more of a sheening ink. And I always think that this should be more of a green. Put a bit more ink down there. And this is Diamine. And it's Smoke on the Water. And if I show you the inside of the cap, that's kind of what the ink should look like. So it is really more of a, almost like an aqua lagoon type color. The next ink is Diamine Sherwood Green. We'll do another ink swatch here. And this is quite a dark green second pass on this so we'll do a writing sample here so it's diamine Sherwood green And it is actually a green ink that I like quite a bit, although I don't write with it as much as I should do, because I tend to like more midpoint greens than very dark greens. So if I were to go for a green ink, a lot of the time I would go for something like Mont Blanc Irish Green. The next ink is Pelican Edelstein Adventurine. So we'll do an ink swatch here. 
And I do find that this adventurine is a little bit more on the dry side and you can see it here. Let's see if I can try and get a bit more ink on here. We'll maybe do two or three passes. There you go, that's a little bit better. See if we can try and get some pooling of ink there. So this is Pelican. Edelstein. And it's Adventurine. And again, that is another mid-green that I like quite a bit. Although I do find some of the Pelican Edelstein inks are a little bit dry. And I do find that this one can be on the dry side as well. Depending on what pens that you put it in. The next ink is Pelican Edelstein Aqua Marine. So we'll do an ink swatch. And again, this is more of really an aquamarine or really a blue green sort of ink very similar in a way to that Visconti green that we have there so this is Pelican Edelstein and it's aqua marine but you can see there that that is very reminiscent of that Visconti green ink but we'll see how that dries the next ink is diamine marine so we have a pelican edelstein aquamarine and then a diamine marine so we'll do another ink swatch here And this is actually quite a nice colour. It's a little bit more on, I would say, the blue side again. But this is more bluer than the Pelican Edelstein Aquamarine and also the Visconti Green. At least when it goes on wet, uh, when it dries again, it still is a little bit more, I would say, on the bluer side of green. And then we'll do a writing sample here so this is diamine and it is just marine but you can see there though that it really is more of a bluish ink than a green ink it's more of a blue I would say with a hint of green and then we have diamine jade green and this is quite a bright green. This is actually an ink that I've used as a mixer ink along with Diamine Yellow. So put your sunglasses on. This is a very neon colored ink. But because of that, it can actually act as a good mixer. So if you want to mix inks and you want to mix, say, greens and blues, then you could use this as a mixing ink. So this is Diamine Jade. And you can see there, <laughs> you do need sunglasses for that ink. And then the last ink we have is Diamine Soft Mint. So we'll do an ink swatch here. see that's quite a wet ink already but we'll add a little bit extra to it and this is diamine soft mint which again is more of a I guess like a tealy sort of color I wouldn't really call it a turquoise as such so I think let's look at these ink colors here in a little bit more detail so we have the Visconti green here and you can see that this actually has some shading going on uh, it is more of a bluish green than a regular green that I would say we have the Mont Blanc Irish green 
which again has quite a bit of shading going on there but it's more of a midpoint green I would say more of a regular green and then we have this diamine smoke on the water now that doesn't look green I know but look at this if I can get the camera angle just right there is a huge amount of sheen going on there so it is actually a green ink but it's mostly red sheen that you can see there so this is quite an animal of an ink um, very very it's more of a red ink I would say than a, a green ink but it does have the green base color to it so it has featured in my green inks here today we then have diamine Sherwood green and this is a little bit more of a darker green does have a lot of shading to it as well so it has good shading properties and then we have Pelican Edel Sign Adventurine, which again is a more medium middle point green, I would say, again with quite a bit of shading, as you can see, not only here where the ink has pulled, but also around the edges here as well. So if I bring it up a little bit more closer to the camera, you'll see that there. And then we have Pelican Edelstein Aqua Marine. Now this is a little bit more of a similar color to Visconti green I would say maybe a little bit more darker a little bit more slightly bluer perhaps uh, if I bring this up close you can see that there is some shading going on but not a huge amount of shading it's quite sort of where the ink has pulled you do see some but it's quite blurred sort of shading going on there and then we have diamine marine and this is again a more lighter bluey green I would say does again have some shading uh, a little bit more shading than pelican eagle sign aquamarine <laughs> now we have diamine jade which you need your sunglasses for because this really is a bright green ink but you can see that there is some shading especially around the outer edges where that ink pulls and then you have Diamine Soft Marine, and that does have a lot of shading there. So that, to me, is quite a nice ink, although it's, again, a more sort of slightly more bluey green ink. Uh, I guess it is more of a mint color, and mint tends to be a green color. Um, like if you uh, looked at some uh, peppermints, for instance, they tend to be more green than than blue or white. So, uh, I guess from that perspective, it is more of a green ink. So that's my second green inks comparison video. So this is green inks comparison number two video. If there are any greens here that you like, let me know in the comments below. And likewise, if you have any other favourite green inks, also let me know in the comments below because I may not have checked them out yet. So that's my green inks comparison number two video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.